Now the call for former colonies to, or colonizers to compensate Africa continue to grow among Africans. With the latest call to made during a recent art exhibition in Ghana's capital Accra. Many African people believe there is a need for compensation for the transatlantic slave trade and wrongs committed during the colonial era, which some uh, former colonies already acknowledged. Now, the art ex exhibition also availed participants the opportunity to display their artistic skills and products and further enhance network among themselves. Here's more details of that in this report. This art exhibition in Accra is not just to celebrate the creativity of different artists, but also to drum home the call for reparations for Africans. The paintings here depict what reparations mean to the artists. One of the consequences of colonialism was this attitude of puritanical like values and conservatism that isn't actually innately a part of us so with these works i just wanted to showcase um self-expression um enjoyment and pleasure and to showcase that there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with being happy there's nothing wrong with having fun there's nothing wrong with indulgence and that for me is what i hope we gain back as a people it's about culture so we are experiencing different forms of culture and different artistic expressions. That's really what it is. Many Africans believe there is a need for compensations for the transatlantic slave trade and wrongs committed during the colonial era. Born in America to Ghanaian parents, Ni Ake curated this exhibition to add the voices of artists in the demand for reparations. We've been working with governmental systems that separate themselves from the people, from the larger community. And so how do we bring accountability into that? That's one of the major tenets of reparations is around accountability. And how do we ensure that we're not repeating the harm? So by using our exhibitions, by building communities through that, we will build better relationships. Those relationships will foster better trust and just stronger communities. And by stronger communities, I mean stronger communities that have power in their decision making around their livelihoods. Campaigners have been calling for ex-imperial powers to pay compensation for crimes committed during the colonial era. Through this exhibition, artists hope to create more awareness about the importance of reparations for Africans and those in the diaspora. They believe it is crucial for Africans across the world to come together and chart a new path for a future rooted in lessons learned from the colonial past. So far, the exhibition has been well received. I think they're very, very creative. Some of them are... I can't figure some of them out because I, I find some of the pieces very interesting. Um, it's not straightforward, if I should put it that way. Um, there's a lot of creativity that goes into some of the art. Some of them are also very straightforward. You can quickly tell what it means or the idea behind it. This exhibition will run till the end of December. Artists hope beyond this, further steps can be taken to get the reparations that they say can help people in Africa thrive.